Hello again, I'm Kane Ma. Scrum was designed with three equally yet distinct roles. These roles are the Scrum Master, the team, and the product owner. Let's look at each of these roles. The Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is responsible for removing any impediments that the team may have, for enforcing the Scrum framework, making sure that the team is fully functional and productive, facilitating close cooperation across all the different roles, to shield the team from any external interference. And Scrum Masters are expected to be change agents. They are expected to help the organization change so that it is better able to do Scrum. The team is a cross-functional unit whose ideal size is seven people plus or minus two. The team has the right to do whatever is required in order to meet the team goals. They are self-organizing. And at the end of the sprint, the team presents the results of their efforts to the product owner. The product owner owns the vision or the desired outcome of the project. They are responsible for the budget or the ROI. And they are responsible for the product backlog. The product owner orders the product backlog in a single rank order from highest priority to lowest priority. Product owners are also responsible for selecting product release dates. These are the only three roles specified within the Scrum framework. The Scrum Master, the team, and the product owner. Scrum has been described as being hard and disruptive. Part of this arises because of the defined roles. With this in mind, let me ask you a question. Where do you think the role of a project manager fits within Scrum? Until next time, thank you.